Welcome to the video tutorial for installing the Sun 2000 and Sun 5000 MAP0 series inverters. This tutorial uses Sun 2000 5K to 12K MAP0 as an example to demonstrate how to install inverter hardware and connect cables. Before installation, open the packing case. Ensure that all items are complete. Prepare required cables or materials in advance. Before installing the inverter, determine an appropriate installation position that can sustain the weight of the inverter and meet the clearance requirements. The inverter can be mounted on a wall or a support. This video uses support mounting as an example. Mark mounting holes using the marking off plate. Drill holes using a hammer drill. Secure the mounting bracket using bolts. Lift the inverter and install it on the mounting bracket. Ensure that the installation is correct. Tighten screws to secure the inverter. The installation is complete. Before you start, get familiar with the wiring areas of the inverter. The inverter has three application scenarios. EMMA networking, smart dongle networking, and smart guard networking. For EMMA networking, let's start from the inverter. Connect DC power cables to the PV modules and battery. Connect signal cables to devices such as battery and EMMA. Connect AC power cables to the home power distribution box and EMMA. For smart dongle networking, let's start from the inverter. Install the smart dongle to the inverter. Connect DC power cables to the PV modules and battery. Connect signal cables to devices such as battery and power meter. Connect AC power cables to the home power distribution box. For smart guard networking, let's start from the inverter. Connect DC power cables to the PV modules and battery. Connect signal cables to devices such as battery and smart guard. Connect AC power cable to the smart guard. You can connect all loads to the smart guard or connect some of the loads to the smart guard. Next, prepare inverter cables and connect the cables. Before connecting cables, ensure that the DC switches on the inverter and all switches connected to the inverter are off. Prepare a PE cable. Strip the cable. Connect the OT terminal. Crimp the OT terminal. Wrap the OT terminal. Connect the PE cable. Prepare an AC power cable. Open the AC output port of the inverter. Insert the core wires into the AC port of the inverter and tighten them using a wrench. Connect the AC power cable connector to the AC port of the inverter. Fasten the snap fit. Tighten the locking cap and screw. Select an appropriate AC switch in accordance with local industry standards and regulations. Prepare DC power cables and battery cables. Prepare positive and negative DC terminals in sequence as required. Use a multimeter to measure the voltage. Ensure that the polarities are correct. Connect DC power cables. Connect battery cables. Prepare battery terminals in the same way as DC terminals. Prepare a signal cable. Disassemble the signal cable connector. Route the signal cable through the locking cap in the waterproof rubber plug-in sequence. Insert the wires into the corresponding pins of the terminal and secure the wires. Insert the signal cable terminal into the COM port. Insert the network cable into the COM port. Connect the signal cable connector to the COM port. Fasten the snap fit and tighten the locking cap. EMMA Networking If inverters are cascaded and connected to the EMMA, the two signal cables for ports 1 and 3 need to be crimped separately. Smart dongle networking.
Inverters are cascaded and connected to the power meter. Smart Guard Networking If inverters are cascaded and connected to the smart card, the cables connected to ports 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 need to be crimped separately. Now let's install the smart dongle. Take the 4G smart dongle as an example. For FE communication, install the WLAN FE smart dongle. Insert the SIM card. Check that the snap fits on both sides are secured. Open the USB port on the inverter. Install the smart dongle to the inverter. Install an anti-theft component for the smart dongle. Tighten the screw. Power on and commission the system. Scan the QR code on the smart card to create a plant.